Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chen Chen, and on this channel, we talk about creating photorealistic 3D assets. So for today's video, we're going to continue the creation process of this Alexander McQueen designer hill that I created recently. In the last video, we talked about the basic modeling process, and in this video, we're going to talk about the ZBrush sculpting process for the main part of the shoe. So coming into ZBrush, I'm just using the basic model that I created in the last video. Uh, I actually managed to just use this uh, basic model until the end. I do not have to retopple anything. I'm not a super experienced sculptor, but I can give you a few tips on how to approach something like this. So with my basic model, I have the basic shape down, so I don't have to change that too much. Uh, so now I'm just focusing on basically capturing the major landmarks that I can see from my reference. And at a stage like this, I do not use super high resolution mesh because it will be kind of hard to control. So I'm trying to capture as much uh, major shape that I can see using as low of a geometry as possible. This is a pretty good rule of thumb to go by. Uh, doesn't matter what you sculpt. At this point, I'm not focusing on any specific area. I want to look at the shoe from a good distance where I can mark out uh, the general area for the entire shoe. This is the kind of stage where it's better not to zoom in anywhere. It's better to look at it from a distance. Again, I don't really have a reference for the backside and the front, so I have to use my own imagination and just do what makes sense. So now I felt like I've done all I can at that level of geometry. I subdivided my geometry again and start to do the next level of details. Every time as I subdivide the geometry, the kind of detail I started to focus on gets smaller. By the way, I did not record the entire sculpting process. I mostly just recorded the major steps that I think I can explain to you guys uh, what I did. In terms of brushes, I think pretty much 80% of the time I was just using standard brush. It's pretty important that we capture the major cavity of the shoe because uh, from the reference we can tell that inside the cavity there's a lot of like dark detail going on and I know that I will be using Substance Painter to bake that map for me so um, I thought about that step when I was sculpting so while I was sculpting I have to make sure that those uh, cavity areas are there. I know that Having them there uh, properly, when I bake those maps, I can just get those uh, dark area masks going really quickly. I probably do not have to do too much paint work.
Now I have subdivided my geometry again and start to do the even smaller details. I started to create some sort of a striation kind of detail inside of the cavity because um, I felt like it wasn't, uh, even though it's pretty much dark on the reference, it was not just completely smooth. There's actually some detail that completely breaking up the edge of the cavity. So I feel like some sort of a striation detail can create that. Uh, in reality, I only have this one reference and it's not super high quality, so I couldn't really tell what's going on inside. I feel like in the end it was good to have that level of smaller details because when I bake the masks, the mask will look much more interesting. Now I'm in the refining stage. I will look at the whole thing and just to see which area is a little too soft and I will go in there and refine the shape a little bit more.
that is pretty much everything I did to the sculpting and this is what the finished sculpt looks like. I also did a little bit of a sculpting for the leather as well just to enhance the edges a little bit, make it a little bit more puffy, maybe feel like a fabric. That is everything I have for you today. It's not a fully narrated video because I uh, mostly just want to show you the sculpting footage. I hope the couple tips I offer you in terms of sculpting will be helpful for you. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one. And in the next video, we're going to be talking about the texturing and the rendering of this shoe.